Long ago, in a small village in feudal Japan, there lived a young warrior named Hiroko. Hiroko was known throughout the village for his courage and strength, and he dreamed of serving the emperor as a samurai one day. One day, Hiroko was traveling through a forest when he stumbled upon an old man being attacked by a gang of robbers. Without hesitation, Hiroko drew his sword and charged towards the robbers, driving them off and saving the old man's life. Thank you, young warrior, the old man said. You have proven yourself to be a true hero. I am the emperor's advisor, and I would like to offer you a position as a samurai in the emperor's service. Hiroko was overjoyed at the prospect of serving his emperor and quickly accepted the offer. He trained tirelessly, improving his skills and perfecting his swordsmanship. He rose through the ranks, and before long he became one of the emperor's most trusted samurai. One day Hiroko was commanded to the emperor's court to receive a special mission. The emperor's daughter had been kidnapped by a rival clan, and it was up to Hiroko to rescue her and bring her back safely. The young samurai set out on his journey, determined to complete his mission and prove himself as a true warrior. He traveled through forests and mountains, over rivers and valleys, until he finally reached the stronghold of the rival clan. With his sword in hand, Hiroko charged into the stronghold, fighting his way through the enemy's ranks and making his way to the princess's cell. He broke open the door and took the princess in his arms, ready to make his escape. But as Hiroko was leaving the stronghold, he heard a cry for help coming from a nearby room. Without thinking, he rushed towards the sound, only to find a young girl being held captive by the enemy. Hiroko hesitated for a moment. He knew that if he tried to save the girl, he might be caught by the enemy and put his mission in great danger. But he also knew that it was his duty as a warrior to protect the weak and helpless. In the end, Hiroko chose to follow his heart and rescue the young girl. He fought off the enemy and carried the girl to safety, knowing that he had put his mission and his own life at risk to do what was right. When Hiroko returned to the Emperor's court with the princess and the young girl, he was hailed as a hero. The Emperor praised him for his bravery and his selflessness, and he was awarded with the highest honor a samurai could receive. But Hiroko knew that his true reward was the knowledge that he had followed his heart and done what was right, no matter the cost. He had learned that being a true warrior wasn't just about strength and courage, but also about honor, duty, and compassion. The moral of this story is that being a warrior is more than just fighting and winning battles. A true warrior follows their heart and acts with honor and compassion, even when faced with difficult choices. Hiroko's bravery and selflessness showed that the true measure of a warrior is not just in their strength, but in their character and their willingness to do what is right, even in the face of great danger. Victory is reserved for those who are willing to pay its price. This quote is often attributed to various Japanese samurai warriors who were renowned for their discipline, skill, and dedication to their craft. It encourages us to persevere in the face of challenges and obstacles and to never give up on our goals and ambitions.